curious as to see, like, I don't know if they're actually going to go Korra and Rosa. I remember, like, me, I team with Zane, uh, who's, I think, PR in Ohio. I think he's PR right now. I believe now. so. In Ohio. I, I don't know. The PR, they take it's, forever to update yeah, the Ohio PR. So, I, I don't know. Get but, on it, uh, Ohio. Get on it. I, I team with him, and, like, we ran into them one time, and they just went double Bowser and destroyed us. <laughs> I feel like just with their capabilities as top le not top level players, that'd be a scary thing to see. Oh yeah, no, double Bowser is frankly like, I hate it. I, you got to hit like once and then they just like bounced us around and killed us. Cause Bowser kills you so early, man. He's just sneaky quick, and those two working together in doubles, I can imagine some of the combos they can pull off. But right now we are gonna see the Rosalina and the Corin. Yeah, there's no messing around here. It seems early on. So we're going to see what Adorable Knight and DK Dimon can kind of build on their momentum here and see what they can do against arguably the best team in Michigan, maybe one of the best teams in the country. Oh, for sure. I mean, they, these guys have made top eight at like every doubles major they've entered. Last uh, last big house, they top eight at Super Smash Con. They top eight at... Yeah, they got third at Super Smash Con. Yes. That and, was amazing. Uh, this most recent big house, they got, or they top eight it, so... <laughs> Absolutely. You know, very, very impressive team, even on a global level you know like the, these these two might just be one of the best teams in the entire world absolutely and for when it comes to DK Doom and Adorable Knight we might just need to see them not change their play style at all just try to get them off stage just try oh to work their magic off stage but oh my goodness off to a quick start here for red team yeah and you see that like amazing oh my god what <laughs> There's that, Iceman, there's that counter. It's it's so deadly in doubles. It has such a huge hitbox. It covers from both sides. He and went up there and challenged him with it. Yeah, you see, no well, fear. you'll see Ryuga do that near the top of the screen a lot, especially on Battlefield. You just Whoa. see Ryuga up at the top of the screen a lot on Battlefield. Did you notice, though, uh, Adorable Knight actually just saved DK Doodman from certain demise after Ryuga got a, uh, a dare on him, but then he just clipped him with the coin and Good it saved teamwork. his jump. So yeah, ab absolutely great teamwork. Just keeping him alive. That would have been almost certain. Uh, end of this game almost like you cannot fall behind too far against these two. Oh, for sure and wow uh ryugan rayquaza taking every capitalization if, if oh my god you just yeah that's uh rayquaza's offstage presence right there full force gimping adorable knight to his death yeah and uh i feel like rayquaza is really proficient at just gimps so like yeah, if we're <laughs> see if we're not if they're not careful, uh, blue team may see more of those because I feel like Rayquaza is one of the best Rosalinas in the world at edge guarding. Uh, his edge guarding is like incredible. Yeah, so they're kind of beating them at their own game right now, and you see red team just doing an absolute amazing job of just cornering them, just putting up a wall almost. Mm -hmm. And even when they're not together, you still see them winning these one on ones. Ooh. Oh, oh, just barely missing the up smash there, but that doesn't even matter. He just goes right up and challenges them with the. Up air. All right, DK Dude Man does uh, snag that parasol kill on Ryuga, so not getting six stocked. Yeah, <laughs> it's a plus, but Rayquaza, yeah, like you just said, you have to lose a stock here even. Yeah, and like Red Team, this whole game has just been making like taking such good advantage of like if if Rayquaza is getting hit, Ryuga helps him out. If if Ryuga is getting hit, Rayquaza helps him out. If Luma is getting hit, either one of them will go and like save Luma. Like, Ryuga is going out of his way to protect Ray's Luma when Ray, when someone's, like, trying to hit Ray and kill the Luma. Yeah, it's definitely the little things. They just, they're totally maximize every option. They And, you know, they just do such a great job of protecting each other, like you just said, but <laughs> wow. And uh, he's just gone. <laughs> All he can do is just laugh about that. He, he hung in with the parasol <laughs> until Ray died, and then he dropped. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to take a stock off Ray. That's hilarious. So we're going to see, I think this is the counter. Oh, yeah, okay. No, that was the early, yeah, early up. He almost taking a normal night stock there. Oop, yeah, and yep, you, here it is. Yep, there it is. You see that option because at the top of the, like, that's the only counter in the game with vertical knock. Well, I guess Greninja's can knock you vert vertically. It can. Um, but that's, like, it's a little more. You know, it's, it's unlike most counters. Yeah. It knocks you up vertically, and that uh, is, like, really powerful when you're already near the top of the screen. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's such a huge hitbox, too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's even if you miss with it, what's the hurt in it? There's one right for it. We're going to move into game two. And we're going to Smashville for this one. Let's see if we can see some adjustments here. Um, I don't really know what they can really do at this point to uh, try to make this any more even. Well, 
because it, it's just they're getting beat at their own game. Like that's where they thrive, and and Ryuga and Rayquaza just are kind of out playing them where yeah, it matters. Yeah, I feel like part of it does come down to like individual skill, and blue team's gonna have to like just play a little bit better in the one v one situations. Absolutely. But they're they're also like I don't know. They need to find a way to like more consistently a take out Ray's Luma. And B, like, not let Ryuga just do what he's doing right now, which is just, like, hanging back and camping. Because um, a lot of the time, it'll be, like, both players on blue team versus one of the players on red team, and the other player will just hang back. And right now, see that counter yet again. And Ooh, ooh! Solid from Adorable Knight taking with the up B. That was clutch. Yeah, that's how you know they main Luigi, when they <laughs> actually up B when it's possible. Absolutely. That was a huge stock for them to take, not allowing them to get in that same deficit they were in the previous game. So it gives them a bit of a chance here to draw even. Right now, we're just kind of seeing him cornered a little bit. Ooh. That was a beautiful way to break up that situation from Ryuga, that Nair just uh, kind of getting Rayquaza out of that pressure situation. And uh, taking stage control for the red team, too, as the uh, blue team starting to fall behind now. Oh my gosh, and DK Dune Man cannot get a break right now. Oh, he's just being carried across the stage by these two, and Adorable Knight just trying to get back on stage, see if he can lend a hand, but it's a little too late. Right now, they're just trying to go for one. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh my gosh! Ray, er, Ryuga not, never failing to miss a chance, or never never failing to find a chance to uh, get that up B when he can. Yeah, he recognized that Adorable Knight whiffed that tornado, and, and after that, it's just a straight shot. Well, right now another 1v1 or 2v1 situation. <laughs> just trying to, that's about what you pretty much have to do in this situation. Just try to roll out all the stops and see if you can just maybe get an up B, maybe get them to hit each other. Yeah, just make try them to get frustrated. Them, yeah. It'll be harder against a team with the compo with the composure that these two have, but, um, you know, anything's possible. Remember what game we're playing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's not over till it's over. But it's definitely a grim situation. That's the thing. Like it, Luigi can't do much. Like he'll take an option, he'll I'll he'll punish one of them, and then the other one will just punish him for it. And it's just gonna keep going until he's dead. Like we just saw there. He just kind of killed himself, actually. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Both players ended up yeah. getting launched into the blast zone, and Ray 